So one of the students asked how to measure the height of a pile. Uh, and you might consider this for a balloon too. So I'm, I'm just using this to resemble a pile because it's an odd shaped item. If we wanted to measure its height from here to here, and it was an actual pile of like sand or something, you couldn't just stick your ruler down in it. Um, and you couldn't put a ruler there as far as making the pile because it would interfere with the, with the cone shape of the pile. Um, if it was a balloon, you couldn't stick a ruler through it. So imagine this is some odd shaped thing that you can't just put a ruler up to the way you might with something square. So here's one way to measure the height of a pile. Uh, I'm taking a ruler and putting it on next to the pile. Uh, it, can be, it can be back here, it can be any, anywhere where it's not hitting the pile. And then I'm taking a level. Now a level, uh, I want to make sure the table's level, which it is. Uh, a level has this little bubble in it. So um, hopefully you have a level at home. Uh, ask mom or dad if they have something like this in the tool area. Um, and you set the level so that the bubble is level and even with the pile. And then you can read the height uh, right there. You can read the height on your ruler, which is going to be down here, even with the piece. So let's see. The height of this piece is 5 and 5 eighths inches. Um, now, if I wanted to do it more accurately, I suppose I would read live, but I can't see it because of the light. Um, might be something that's better done with two people, um, as far as holding the ruler, holding the holding the level right, and um, holding the level right, and then reading the the ruler measurement from the ground. Um, but it can't even be done with one person. But that's an accurate way of doing the height of something that's odd shaped or some dimension that's odd shaped. Okay, I hope that helps.